Hi, in this video I'd like to show you the integration with Azure DevOps. It allows for manual or automated creation of work items in DevOps based on bugs and errors occurring in script executions. It also allows you to schedule the executions of scripts, projects and scheduler jobs directly from DevOps and we'll show that later in the video. In order to set up the integration, you need to open settings, then issue tracking, then system definition, then click on the add button. You need to fill out the name and the host, which is your DevOps URL. In the next field, you need to create a personal access token in DevOps. So just go to security and click new token. Now just enter in the name and select full access option and click create. Now we can copy the token and paste it in executive automats. Now using the fetch projects button, we fetch all our Azure DevOps projects and we can select the project we want, pick a default iteration, default work item, default priority and default severity. Then if we have some custom fields in our DevOps project, we can add this with the add custom field button. We just need to add the reference name of the field. We can also pick a default value for this field. We'll enter in automatic bug and click create. Now we just need to assign the system definition we just created to our executive automats user in the settings. Now we can manually create work items in DevOps based on bugs occurring in the script executions. We've prepared a script that ended with a warning status and I'll show you how to create a work item based on that in DevOps. In the history tab, select the execution of the script that ended with a bug and click show errors slash warnings. We can see that two steps of the script executed with warnings and we just need to click on the create work item button to create the work item in DevOps. We can open it clicking on the link and see it in DevOps straight away. We've got the full description of the bug here with all the details. All the work items created based on executions of a particular script can be seen in the work items tab of the script. We can see the details of our work item we just created here and click on the link to go directly to it in DevOps. We can also create automated rules to create work items in DevOps based on bugs in the execution of scripts in executive automats. To do that, we need to go to settings, issue tracking and rules. And we need to add a new rule. We need to select the name, which issue tracking tool we want to use and the triggers. The first three triggers are executive automats notifications and the platform error and the platform warning are issues on the environment side. Let's select all the triggers and then default values for the remaining fields. After we've created the rule, we need to assign it to a project. Let's create a new project and assign the issue tracking rule to it. Let's also add a system definition and a virtual user. And let's clone our script that ended with bugs to the project we created to see if the automated issue tracking rule works as intended. Additionally, we'll select the option to take screenshots to have a screenshot of the issue in DevOps. We can now play the script in the background and see how it works. Okay, we can see the script execution ended with a warning status. Let's click show errors slash warnings and we can see the work items have been created automatically for the two steps that generated warnings. And again, in DevOps, we can see the full details of it and the screenshot of the step that generated the warning. We can take a look at the second work item and see it's got all the details in DevOps as well. And in the work items tab of the script, we can see the two work items created just now. Additionally, in the main scripts tab, you can select the option show scripts with work items to see all the scripts that have active work items. Let me show you the other side of the integration with Azure DevOps now. It allows you to automatically schedule the execution of scripts, projects and tasks based on the pipelines built in DevOps. In order to trigger the execution of a script from DevOps, we need to go to our project, select the pipelines tab, then builds, and we create a new build pipeline. Select use the classic editor, hit continue, then select empty pipeline and click apply. 
We enter the name and we click on the button to add a task. Let's search for EA and select EA Execution Service. It's a plugin we created to allow the integration. Let's click on Add and now we need to select API service for the connection. For the purpose of this video, let's create a new one. Select a name and then paste the URL of the Executive Automas environment. Now we need to pick the type of entity to run in EA. You can run single scripts, whole projects or scheduler jobs. We'll pick script. And in the next field, we need to paste the API token generated in EA, which will allow the connection. You'll find it in settings and API key. We'll create a new one for this. We've got it, so let's copy and paste it in DevOps. Now just confirm and we can see it's working. So let's pick the script we want to run. It's the script number 1067 with a name posting free text invoice. Once we're done configuring the pipeline, we can save and queue it. And we can see it's already queued. Let's go to builds and let's look at the job to see how the script is executing. Let's look at the history tab in EA and we can see our script number 1067 is running and we can also see it's been scheduled to run with the API key DevOps integration we just created. Let's take a look at our pipeline in DevOps again and wait until the script is finished executing. The build executed successfully and we can take a look at the status of the execution of the script in EA. Here we can also see that the build finished successfully. We can verify it in Executive Automats and we can see the script ended with a success. You can create pipelines for entire projects as well as scheduler jobs just the same way. Okay, thanks for watching and if you're interested, please visit executiveautomats.com and schedule your free live demo.